Hi and welcome back to my channel. This time I have a topic that's not audio related. This is important or interesting maybe for you if you are into power boating, speed boats, water sports, water skiing or something like this and also for performance oriented uh, people who drive a boat motor combination. And this tool can calculate the theoretical top speed of a given propeller boat motor combination and it can also calculate the propeller slip. With this calculation you can check if your propeller boat combination is okay or not. For example, if you have a slip value around 10%, everything seems to be okay. If you have 20%, 30% or even more, then something can be wrong. For example, it's possible that your propeller is ventilating because we have two important values in propellers, that's pitch and diameter. The diameter is important. You need a minimum diameter for a given weight of your boat. So if your boat, for example, weighs around a ton and you have a 12 inch diameter propeller, it's possible that your outboard engine turns it up to 5000 RPMs, but your boat isn't doing any speed or not the expected speed. That means you have a higher slippage. Yes, let's calculate an example together with you. You need, as I said, a minimum diameter. For example, 13 inches on the market, 14, 15, and the bigger diameter propellers are for heavier boats. That's very important to avoid ventilation of your propeller. For example, here is my mouse and here I have some fields where I can put in some values. Uh, we can start, for example, we have a lightweight hull with 200 horsepower of a V6 outboard and I have a 21 pitch propeller. So you type in 21 and what's important, if you have a standard propeller with constant pitch and not progressive pitch and maybe it's made of aluminium and not of stainless steel, you can leave this off. If you have a performance oriented propeller or a stainless steel propeller, you should check this one. Um, the gear ratio of your outboard, you can obtain this value from your manufacturer. If you don't know your ratio, I have here a small button, it's called engine database and you can find in this here lots of outboards scroll down different brands and here on the right you have the um, gear ratio of your outboard so for example i have 1.81 and sorry i go to the next field and maybe we have an outboard which is able to turn 6000 rpm let's say we reached 5900 rpm so we can Go to action above and calculate new. Then it says in kilometers per hour, in miles per hour and even knots how fast this can go. But we forgot one important thing, it's a slip. And if we take around 10%, we can also calculate new. That's the real, that's the real speed the boat is doing. And we can also calculate slip on the other way. I leave this to zero and click on calculate new. And now I check how many kilometers per hour I reached with my boat. For example, um, let's say I reached, I'm sorry, this is an English version of my software, but I um, forgot to check this on kilometers. You have to put in the kilometers per hour, this value here into this box, into this field. Let's say I reached 95 kilometers per hour and then I click above on calculate slip. So we have a slip of 8.9%. That's a good value. Uh, that means our power boat is well optimized and there's not much I can make better with this propeller boat motor combination. But um, if we have, for example, only reached 75 kilometers per hour, then I have 28%. This is the difference between real distance a boat is traveling and the theoretical distance a boat traveled. And if I have only reached 75 km per hour and you have a lightweight boat, that means you should easily reach more than 90 or 85 km per hour. So in this case, when I have 28% of slip, I should do some optimization. That's for example, I can install a four-bladed propeller. This gives you more uh, blade area. 
maybe your boat is too heavy, you have not enough blade area, propeller blade area, to reduce slip. That means if I have a low diameter propeller, I can run into a high slip value and I can add another blade to get more propeller blade area to reduce the slip value. Or I can leave three bladed propeller, but I increase the diameter, for example, 15 inch, 14 inch or something like this. Um, and it's important how are you using the boat. If you are more into top speed, then you should check everything out. You should get the bow lift propeller. For example, I leave this to zero again, calculate new. And now let's say I have a stainless steel propeller and I lifted my outboard a little bit higher. So my outboard in this case can reach 6000 RPMs because I mounted the engine a little higher on the transom and calculate new. So this calculates 110 kilometers per hour. And then in this case, let me say I reached 102. And then you see the slip goes down. I have a high performance propeller. Outboard is even able to turn the RPMs of 6000. And you can see if I have 7.5%, um, I can check how fast will this go if I put it to 7.5%. I know at 5,500 RPMs, my boat will go around 94 kilometers per hour or 58 miles per hour. So this is just uh, for playing around optimization. If you are into boating, it's important to make uh, changes to your boat. And there are some important things. And you can also save your alignment and load it if for further usage or something. And I added, added um, a propeller info that shows something here a uh, small text what you can do what which what does slip mean what does um, cup or rake mean these are um, terms of high performance propeller so I can click on pictures and here you see oh it's a German word here <laughs> um, rake is this angle here on this, you can see this is cupping. This is cupping that gives a better bite into the water, better transmission of power into the water. You can reduce ventilation and slip with this, but a high cupped propeller has also a higher pitch. So this values here, what I wrote is not absolutely always correct because if I calculate a boat of a friend, and this is 100, oh sorry, 6000. And I know that this guy reached 106 kilometers per hour and calculate slip. You see this value is very low. Usually it's always more than five person. This is because the propeller is a very aggressive cupped propeller and it's not acting like a 21, more like a 23. So I type in 22 leave this on cup that means it adds an inch of pitch to the propeller and then I have this one and then I can also calculate slip and then I'm realistic. Most performance propellers aren't constant pitch. This software is calculating with constant pitch. Most um, propellers are progressive pitch. That means on the beginning of the blade it's 19. On the propeller is for example printed 21. Then it's 20, 21, then it goes 22 and 23 pitch on the tip of the propeller to get best performance acceleration and top speed performance. So if you find this useful, I put the download link for this small tool in the description. I have one link for the German version and one link for the English version. If you have any questions about optimizing your boat with the propeller, which propellers are okay. You uh, can leave all your questions in the comments. If I have the time, I will chime in and uh, give some suggestions. It's not easy always because there are different types of boats. But if you're more into skiing, I would go for four blade propeller and lower pitch to get best performance and acceleration and tight curves are also very important. Some propellers blow also out or start to ventilate at very tight curves. If you like this software, let me know in the comments, leave me a thumb or subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time on my next videos. Bye bye.